Hey Bob, it's me. Today, I want to do, um, a another type of video like this where I just talk to you on the camera, you know, and just speak truthfully, I suppose. <laughs> but today I want to talk about, uh, I want to basically praise Hypixel. <laughs> Why, why am I why am I doing this? Well, I I played Mindplex. So you can see the background footage. It's Mindplex. I didn't know what to do with the footage. It's actually a video, but like I, nothing happened in the video. So I'm just like, you know what? Let's just I just use the footage. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. No one cares. But um, because I've been playing Mindplex a little bit, just to like some bored, just nothing else to do. So I decided, hey, let me just play some Mindplex Super Smash Mobs and um, <laughs> very very different from Hypixel, because I play Hypixel a lot, more than the other server, mostly that's the only server I play, and basically, whenever I play Mindplex, it's like, it's so bad, like, it's so laggy, the server just, you know, the abilities, you know, it's, well, the abilities that the server, I'm not, I'm not talking about the game itself, <clears throat> not about the server, you know, runs on, it's very lag, you know, sometimes you log in, it just lags, and you just fall through the world a little bit, and it's, like, I hate that, I understand, like, for other servers, like smaller servers. I, I, I ran a lot of servers, all right? My community, back in the day, we ran a lot of servers. I, I understand the lag. I know it happens, but with a big server that's been around for years, they haven't, Mindplex hasn't updated any of their like, lag issues. Like, it's still there, and it's, it annoys me. Well, with Hypixel, they, they're probably the best server, best minigame server, best any type of server. They're the best server in general. They're probably the best, because they, they, they're the best at coding the game. You know how Minecraft 1.8 works? I mean, I see the reason they're never gonna update the game to like 1.9 or above because you know they're gonna they'll be ruined then. They know that everything's screwed over 1.9 and above. Sure, there's a lot of content in those updates, but you can't use them because the PvP screwed up. That's Mojang's fault, not not Hypixel. So Hypixel had to work with basically 1.8 stuff. They did so much. They did so much. 1.8, 1.8 came out in 2016, so they just had years. I'll be staying in the same version of the game, and it's just they did a, they did a fantastic job. No wonder they made their own game. That's probably gonna be a hit. It's probably gonna be perfect. Well, near perfect. They're probably probably gonna be bugs, most likely. But it's gonna be near perfect. I I'm just gonna predict that it. it's gonna be near perfect. The server is near perfect. Sure, you know when I first logged on many years ago, I said it's very annoying. You know some of the things they have, like the whole like chat delay. You can't type chat, you know, you can't say one message and say next on like Hypixel, or uh, on like Mindplex where you can just talk all you want as long as you don't spam the same message, you're fine, but with Hypixel it's like, I say hi, then someone else says hi, I say hi back, but I can't because I have to wait three seconds, that's, that's kind of annoying, but I want to deal with that. Also with the ranks, it's like, my, if you have no rank, you're basically just a group, a group text is faded, which I understand, <laughs> basically, because everyone has a rank, I'm not going to buy a rank on the server, that's the one thing I'll never do on Hypixel is buy a rank. Now you may say ask why. I don't know why. I just don't want to buy a rank. I bought a ball rank on Mindplex. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy a rank on Hypixel, even though I, I don't, they don't need my money. They, they have money to spare. They, like I said, they made their own game, you know. <laughs> but I, I really like Hypixel. They all their games. I probably talk about the games themselves. They're, they're all detailed. So, like the pit. Oh my god. Even though it's it's a developing game, I don't know what to, to like. To, I don't know why it's not an official game. Still in the uh, prototype lobby. I don't know why, but maybe someone down below can say why the 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 pit is still in the prototype lobby. I, I everyone that my brother I think asked why it's still in the prototype lobby. I think Kevin a month ago said that. I don't know if he'll say why it's still in the prototype lobby, but um, it uh, <laughs> I don't know why. So because the game's almost perfect. To some extent, there's still, there's still annoying things, which, if you watch my live stream about it, when I played it for like an hour and a half, it, you can tell that I get fed up with some of the things that are in the pit, but the foundations of it is fine. Every other game is fine. Bed Wars is actually one of the biggest things when I think, when you think of like Hypixel, you think of Bed Wars, but they've been doing this good stuff for years, like... All the way back in 2014, I believe they started the server up. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they've been like upgrading the server. Like every time they create a new game, it like all the YouTubers play it, and it's like with Mindplex or any other server, that doesn't happen. Back then and now, I remember when they did their arcade. 
and held a minion. All the YouTubers went on that. All of them went on that. I remember when, um... Oh. What else? Murder Mystery came out, all the YouTubers played that for a little bit. And Sky Wars, all the YouTubers played that with Bed Wars. Massively, everyone played on that. Now with, uh... The new pro prototype lobbies of pet people are like oh my god it's so cool it's amazing cookie clicker cookie clicker clicker in Minecraft wow but it's all from Hypixel himself the man himself man who knew redstone engineering and basically created a server up from there which I gotta say thank you Hypixel thank you for uh for the server that mi hundreds of thousands of people play on. I think the majority of like the 91 million players I think they're still active are either playing on Bedrock Edition, Java Edition alone, on any other server, or Hypixel. I'm pretty sure the majority on Hypixel. Well, to a certain extent, you know. I'm pretty sure those 91 million people who are still active probably won Hypixel at least one time. Because when you think of multiplayer in Minecraft, you think of Hypixel. You don't think of, of Mineplex. In 2013, 2014, you were sick of Mineplex, but now it's Hypixel. They took that off of Mineplex's throne, they kicked them out, and now I don't think any other server is gonna like beat them. I don't think so. No time, because Minecraft, it, it, I'm not, it's, it's kind of dead. No, no one's making big servers anymore. Everyone's on Fortnite with Mark Ass Brown. You know, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> YouTube rewind meme, but. Everyone's playing Fortnite now. There's no point in playing on Minecraft anymore. But to the 91 million people that are probably still active, they're like, hey, Hypixel's number one, no other server can beat them. And that's kinda true, no other server can actually beat them, which is pretty freaking cool. When you think about it back in 2017 when they when they were technically the top, I was kinda pissed off because you know, I'm a Mineplex boy. I mean not anymore to the updates Mineplex did, but I was a Mineplex boy back then. I was pretty pissed off. Cause I hated Hypixel a little bit of all their like restrictions but playing on Hypixel for a while now I understand the restrictions and I think that they're like a parent Hypixel's like a parent the server now I'm not talking about the guy so I don't know really, Hypixel the guy I have no idea what he's like but um uh the Hypixel's the server it, it's like a parent you know they have a lot of restrictions but they use because you have to have those restrictions in order to have fun you have to have rules in order for everyone to obey the rules which means that if you obey the rules, you get a fun. And of course, there are hackers in a lot of games, but it's weird that the hackers don't get banned. But if you report them, enough people report them, then Watchdog actually does a fantastic job of banning them. Is whenever I'm in a game, like in the pit, I usually, I usually sometimes see two or three people banned in the session that I'm on, which is incredible. Because I don't think Mindplex does that. Sure, once in a while, I'll see whenever I play through Smash Off in these couple games, or even a couple days before that. There were, there were just in the lobby chilling out, you know, trying to do stuff. I guess see a player go and ban someone. That was like once in a while. With Watchdog, it's like a lot. You see a lot. And they, and they also like to brag about, like, Watchdog banned this many players and staff banned this many players. Like, that's a lot of people. Mineplex probably can't even reach that because there's only like 2,000 players on Mineplex. So, same with every other server, the minigame server. They're all like a couple thousand players. But I think in the long run, Hypixel is probably the best option. It has the most games, it has the most um, mini games, it has the most. You can basically do anything you want Hypixel. And the only problem with that is it's only one server, it's not like a variety. You know, you have all the YouTubers, Minecraft YouTubers still around playing Hypixel. That's probably the only negative thing I think about now, in 2019, is that every single YouTuber. Every Minecraft YouTuber basically either does Mojang stuff, talking about Mojang updates, or playing Hypixel updates. You no know other service play, because that's not going to get views. If you want to grow your channel now, you have to play Hypixel, because that's the only way you do it. But even then, it's like, the competition so much, it's like, you're still not going to grow. So, hey little kids, you want to grow a YouTube channel, play some Fortnite. No, that's not going to grow you. <laughs> I don't know what to say then. But, yeah, it's just a rambling video of me just praising Hypixel for the amazing work they did on their server over the years, which I've grown to like a lot, and I enjoy playing on it. Best, you barely lag on Hypixel, you get best performance. I've only lagged like once, and that's because of me, because I had like no internet once. You know, um, 
a lot of times when you play the games, like you say, they also like refresh the games. Like whenever I'm in the pit, it's like, oh, we're starting the pit, moving to the server. Like it's fine. That's what you need to do. Because the server's been on for a long time, you need to reset it. Or restart it just so it like refreshes so no lag happens or no glitches. Which is incredible. I don't know why. does Mindplex do that? I don't think so. I don't know. I never see it happen. Maybe once in a while. But everything that Mindplex does, the high pixel does on a lot of big, like a lot. The once in a while thing for Mindplex, a rare occasion. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys want to support this channel, wanna hit that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna go now, so uh bye. Uh, yeah, I confess, father, I confess.